Chapter 5 Multiplication Multiplication is addition of a similar group of things repeatedly. It is a short and easy way to do repeated addition. Is the sign of multiplication. The answer of a multiplication is called product. Multiplication on a number line. A number line can be used to multiply numbers. When we multiply two numbers, the number we get is the product of the given numbers. Let us multiply 4 by 4. Start from 0 and skip count by 4 and stop after the 4th skip. The number where you stop is 16. So, 4 by 4 is equal to 16. Multiplication facts Multiplication by 1 There is a dog under each umbrella. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 into 1, which is equal to 3. In the same way, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 6 by 1 is equal to 6 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 by 7 is equal to 7. Therefore, when we multiply a number by 1, the product is the number itself. Multiplication by 0 There is no dog under each umbrella. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 3 by 0 is equal to 0. In the same way, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 4 by 0 is equal to 0 and 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 7 by 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, when we multiply any number by 0, the product is always 0. Order of numbers in multiplication 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 2 by 3 is equal to 6. 3 plus 3 is equal to 3 by 2 is equal to 6. So 2 into 3 is equal to 3 into 2 is equal to 6. In the same way, 5 into 6 is equal to 6 into 5, which is equal to 30. And 4 into 8 is equal to 8 into 4, which is equal to 32. Multiplication of a two-digit number by a one-digit number without regrouping. Example 1. Multiply 42 by 2. Solution. Step 1. Write the numbers in columns of tens and ones. Multiply the digit in the ones column by 2. Two ones into 2 is equal to four ones. Write 4 in the ones column. Step 2. Multiply the digit in the tens column by 2. 4 tens into 2 is equal to 8 tens. Write 8 in the tens column. Thus, 42 by 2 is equal to 84. Multiplication of a 3-digit number by a 1-digit number without regrouping. Example 2. Multiply 222 by 3. Solution. Step 1. Write the numbers in columns as shown. 
Multiply the digit in the ones column by 3. Two ones by 3 is equal to six ones. Write six in the ones column. Step 2. Multiply the digit in the tens column by 3. Two tens by 3 is equal to six tens. Write six in the tens column. Step 3. Multiply the digit in the hundreds column by 3. Two hundreds into 3 is equal to six hundreds. Write six in the hundreds column. Thus, 222 into 3 is equal to 666. Multiplication with carrying over. Example 3. Multiply 38 by 4. Solution. Step 1. Arrange the given numbers in the columns correctly. Multiply 8 ones by 4. 8 ones into 4 is equal to 32 ones is equal to 3 tens plus 2 ones. Write 2 in the ones column and carry over 3 to the tens column. Step 2. Multiply 3 tens by 4. 3 tens into 4 is equal to 12 tens. 12 tens plus 3 tens carried over is equal to 15 tens is equal to 100 plus 5 tens. Write 5 in the tens column and 1 in the hundreds column. Thus, 38 into 4 is equal to 152. Example 4. Multiply 55 by 7. Solution. Step 1. Arrange the given numbers in the columns correctly. Multiply 5 ones by 7. 5 ones into 7 is equal to 35 ones, which is equal to 3 tens plus 5 ones. Write 5 in the ones column and carry over 3 to the tens column. Step 2. Multiply 5 tens by 7. 5 tens into 7 is equal to 35 tens. 35 tens plus 3 tens carried over is equal to 38 tens is equal to 3 hundreds plus 8 tens. Write 8 in the tens column and 3 in hundreds column. Thus, 55 into 7 is equal to 385. Multiplication by 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on. 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on are numbers ending with 0. Let's learn how to multiply other numbers with these numbers. If we multiply a number by a number ending with zero, the product always ends with zero. For example, 3 into 10 is equal to 30. 5 into 20 is equal to 100. 8 into 40 is equal to 320. If we multiply a number ending with zero, by another number ending with zero, we follow given steps. Let's multiply 30 by 40. Step 1. Multiply the numbers by ignoring the zeros. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Step 2. Count the total number of zeros in both the numbers and write them to the right of the result obtained in step 1. So, 30 into 40 is equal to 1200.